that leading leg. Oh, not so much. Oh. Hi, my name is Lee. And this is B. We love to travel, and we have very strong opinions. This place is so beautiful, I want to punch it in the face! So we took it upon ourselves to visit some of the highest rated places on the internet to make sure they were really worth visiting so that you don't have to. You're welcome. It's not worth it. This week we're headed to Mount Bachelor, located 22 miles west of Bend, Oregon. It has over 4,300 acres of lift accessible terrain, and it has the highest ski boat elevation in all of Oregon and Washington. Mount Bachelor also has a fairly long ski season, starting in November and lasting well into May. We decided to come here to try our hand in a sport we knew nothing about, skiing. But before we do that, there's one minor detail we needed to get out the way. So I'm about to learn how to ski tomorrow, but I don't have any snow pants, so here we go. Buying waterproof pants means you know you're about to do something stupid. Because you know you're gonna get wet, but you also need to be wearing pants. Maybe I should get something bright colored in case I get lost in the snow and be able to find me. After securing my snow pants, we decided we didn't want to ski on an empty stomach. And now back to our regularly scheduled program, already in progress. With our boots tightly fastened, it was finally time for us to hit the slopes for our first lesson. How hard could it be? It's just balancing yourself on two popsicle sticks while sliding down a mountain of ice. It'll be a breeze. It was slow going at first, but after a while we got the hang of it. And then it was time to hit the bunny slopes. Somehow we ended up being good enough to go to the next level, believe it or not. B decided to sit this one out, so it was just me and our ski instructor alone on a mountain where no one could hear me scream. Not long after I got to the top, it didn't take long before things started to go sideways. There you go. Oh, oh. Must be that the oh. All right. That right knee with the right knee. Oh. I spent a lot of time looking at the trees from this angle. After that last fall, I was really starting to get tired and I just wanted to get off the mountain. But eventually I got the hang of it and it was nothing but smooth sailing after that. come back for a lesson in skiing, mm -hmm. you can tell them that you're you're just in for the level three. And if you come back, you tell me you're level two. Not one. Two. In case you didn't catch that, I just want to reiterate that our ski instructor just told us that I was a level three and B was a level two. Just want to put that out there. After today, I would totally sign up for this. If only I were in high school. Yeah. 
So I'm here in my bachelor trying to learn how to ski. The teachers here are very patient. We definitely tested their patience. Even if you don't ski or snowboard, you can definitely come here, check out the view. The cafe is overpriced, but so is every cafe at every lodge. So it's definitely worth it. After our day at Mount Bastler, there was really nothing left to do but go get some Thai food and put Ben Oregon in our rear view mirror. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and go to thejourneybean.com for more pictures of our trips when this snowman gets it.